out there! Welcome to the next Fish Extender gift idea video. In this video I'm going to show you how I made these little custom bags using my Silhouette Cameo. Alright, so you're going to use a Silhouette Cameo for this video and we're going to go ahead and open it up. And the first thing we are going to do is insert some text. For this project I'm just literally going to type out Disney Dream and the date of my sailing. So first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and type that out in the default font that shows up. But for this project I want to use a Disney themed font. You can find them anywhere online, just give it a search, you can download it to your computer. I'm going to center justify the font here and then like I said I'm going to search the Waltographic font which is actually the specific one that I'm using for this project. You'll see here it looks just like Walt Disney's handwriting which is very cool. I am going to adjust the size a little bit. For this project, my little text insert is going to be about one inch by five inches approximately, you know, give or take. It's not an exact science. I kind of just eyeballed what I was looking for. Once you get the size just right, you can just go ahead and copy and paste that. Um, for this project, I'm going to be making about 20 bags, so I want to copy and paste this 20 times down the length of my paper. Now, um, I'm using an iron-on vinyl for this project. The, uh, I bought it just on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link down below in case you're looking for it. But um, what you want to do with the vinyl is you don't actually need to use a cutting mat. However, you do need to go in and adjust your page size. So I'm going to click the little um, page size adjusting here and my roll of vinyl is 12 inches wide by 19 inches long. Now make sure that, you see this red line right here, make sure you remove your cutting mat option or if you just try to continue, it's not going to cut the vinyl any lower than that red line. So get rid of it, you don't have to worry about it. Once that's all taken care of, you can just go ahead, click and drag, and then copy and paste the rest of these little font inserts all the way down until you have as many as you need or as many as you can fit on your piece of vinyl, whichever you're using. Alright, once that's all done, it should look a little something like this. You'll see we have 20 different ones on there. Now because we are doing an iron-on, we need to make sure that we are making a mirror image of this. It needs to be flipped. So what you're going to do is click the little icon up in the corner there um, that looks kind of like a little spinning disc right there, okay? So you'll see there's different options and what we're gonna do for this is mirror left and you'll see it just takes everything and flips it over. It's really easy, just go ahead and highlight all those ones that are facing you the normal way of reading and delete them, you're not gonna need them. Then go ahead and click and drag and select all of those reversed mirror image ones and put them back onto the vinyl sheet. Very simple. Next thing we need to do is make sure our cut settings are on the right spot and so you can click that little cutter Make sure you are doing that cut edge, not the cut. If you do cut with the script, it's going to cut through the whole thing and kind of mess it up for you. You're going to select vinyl as your stock, and then you're going to send it to your Cameo cutter. Here's what it looks like. Um, it just moves around back and forth. You can kind of see the outline of where it's actually just kissing the top of the paper. It's a very light cut. It doesn't cut through the plastic backing. It just cuts through the vinyl. Um, it moves back and forth. It takes about five or six minutes maybe to cut out that entire sheet of 20 iron-on transfers that we're going to use for this project. All right, once that's all done, we're going to weed the excess vinyl away. Um, and what that means is we're just going to pull off the extra outside bits that you don't need. It's really simple. You can just peel it across, but take your time because sometimes if you're doing something really delicate, it can pull parts away that you don't want it to. But if you're just slow and careful and gently pull it away, for the most part, it comes off pretty cleanly. Um, we're going to go back in with some tweezers to clean out those middle pieces that um, won't come across or come off when you pull off the majority of them, but that's no problem. It's really simple as well, too. If you do find that some of the letters peel away, um, you'll see as I get up a little bit further here that actually does happen when I'm peeling this, um, the, the R, the back of the R does peel off right there, you can see. Just take your fingernail or a little tool, pop it right back down, and you're fine. Those little plastic sheets are sticky, so the letters will want to reattach themselves to that. It's no problem. All right, now we're going to grab our tweezers and go back in and clean out any of those little inside portions from the D's and the I's and the O's. Just really clean it up because that's not going to be what we want in our final picture. It's easy. 
just bend the plastic a little bit and for the most part those little inside bits are going to want to pop off on their own anyway. And there you have it, that's how it looks. Now I flipped it over so you can read it, but um, this is actually upside down. The sticky part is actually towards my hand. So now we're gonna move on to the ironing on step. You're gonna grab your project. I'm using these really cute little plastic, or not plastic, but nylon bags that I bought um, on from Amazon that were really super cheap. You can just go ahead and take your sheet. Now that's gonna be sticky side down. So the smooth plastic part is gonna be on the top. The sticky side is gonna be facing down so you can read it. Now I just use my iron on like a medium setting. You have to be careful because you don't want your nylon bag to melt because it is a man-made plastic material. You just have to be really careful. It doesn't take too much heat to get these transfers to stick, but you do need to watch yourself. You want it to be hot enough, but not too hot to melt your bag. So just do a little spot test before you plop the iron right down onto your material. All right, you can see I'm gonna give it a little wiggle once I've got it in the spot that I want. Uh, wiggle it around on there, get that heat going. Um, you'll see, you can actually kind of see the plastic start to release from the transfer, and that's how you can tell that you got um, enough of a heat setting that the transfer is going to want to go on there itself. You're just going to peel it right back, um, and that's it. So your really easy, simple way to customize some cool little fish extender gift ideas. They're inexpensive. Um, I'll, you know, I'll link the little bags that I got on Amazon down below, um, but they're these little tote bags. They remind me of Finding Nemo, actually, they, and they have these little pouches at the top where you can just store the bags when you're not using them. So here's how you do it. So you're just going to flip it over, you're going to fold up your bag into a tiny little parcel. See, you're going to roll it up. Fold the ends over so you can tuck it inside. And then you're going to roll it into the little fish pouch that you have there. Now this one's got a little clip on the top, it's got a little drawstring to keep it all closed. So this way you've got this little tote bag that you can just toss into your bag um, or your purse before you go out and then you've got yourself a nice little Finding Nemo memory of your cruise. All right guys, that's pretty much it. Here's the finished product. I was really excited with this one. You know, it's fun just to be able to customize and give these to people as gifts on your cruise because it's just a little lasting memento from the really great times you had on board. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. There are the two that I finished right there. Um, I'm going to go back in and show you the steps to doing the other three.